Hello, welcome to another Jory Giant Veg. I'm just doing a quick video because I've been asked off a few people how um, you pot up plants that are grown in air pots. So I'm just going to show you quickly. I'm just busy potting up some um, Yorkshire Giant leeks from one litre pots into some three litre pots. As you can see, I've got a few made up. Make them up um, before you start, obviously, and then you can get flying. I've got a good quality compost here. I'm using Levington's M3. Um, to do be potting up my leeks into like I say the three litre pot so what you want to do is in the bottom of the air pot you're potting into fill it up with compost and make sure you compact it down because um, when you come to water in if there's any loose holes in these the water will just drain out as you can imagine so you want to get the, the compost roughly about the depth of what your air, pot, uh, your air pot's going to be yep and then Undo your one litre air pot and unravel the air pot as you can see. All the, the roots are starting to stick out the bottom of the pot. Should have showed you that before I planted it on. And these were all air pruned as you can see. If I can get a bit closer, I'll show you them drying out. I don't know if you can see it there. You can see how the, the air. The root here is air pruned, dried out, and that will persuade other roots. It will persuade other roots to grow out the side of that root. So you want to put it, just pop it into the air pot where you want it, in the middle, and then basically just fill around the edges, compacting it down. Try not to damage the roots when you're compacting it down, which is obvious. I know it sounds obvious, but just be gentle as you're compacting it in. Get your compost nice and firm around the the plant, the leek. Try not to get the compost down in the leek flags if you can't, if you can. Um, and just keep compacting it and it'll keep dropping. Keep topping it up. until it's nice and compact the soil around it nice and compact give it a little tap and there you go I'll split the button on these um, and they're ready to go back in the greenhouse remember to stick your label back in so you know what's what and who's who and there you go pot it on I've got another 25 or 30 of these to do and um, when you finish with the old air pot, obviously give them a rinse and stack them for the next time or stick your chilies in, whatever you're going to do next. Remember to keep all the uh, the little clips. But yeah, ready to go. Uh, I've got a long day ahead of us doing all these, but it's important to use a good quality compost when you're potting up your leeks and onions. Um, I've heard a few people saying that they're being cubed, they're used and stuff like that. To be honest, it's not... It's not very good for what you want, that sort of stuff, um, if you're growing for shown and competition wise. If you can't get a hold of this, um, there's Clover Professional, that's a good compost. There's, there's all sorts out there. If you look on the groups, um, the Exhibition Garden group on Facebook, um, and just ask, people will tell you um, where you can get it from. If there's any uh, places near you, I'm pretty sure there'll be people in and around your area who will be able to tell you, oh, I get this from so-and-so allotment shop or... You know, there's loads of people who will help, so get yourself on the groups um, and ask people. There's some fun, I mean, growing for showing and all those sort of groups, allotment, uh, life and stuff like that, life at the allotment, sorry. It, they're fantastic groups. There's tons and tons of very knowledgeable people on there that um, it's really good to be a part of those communities. Plus, there's, there's, they, they do tons of competitions. You can win all sorts of stuff all the time, and people are always helpful. They'll always... Put videos on or if you need any help just put a comment on the groups people will just pipe up straight away and they'll help you out no end uh, yeah it's fantastic I, I really enjoy being part of the groups on Facebook there's a very uh, there's a lot of knowledgeable people on there who are willing to help and um, whereas in the past you would get a lot of knowledgeable people who were quite stubborn and wouldn't help you and um, but yeah those groups are fantastic I'm I'm enjoying them so yeah as you can see I've got a lot more to do I'll quickly show you in the air uh, the tent 
if you're wondering what that is. Sorry about that. If you're wondering what the popping is, it's just the bubble wrap I'm using on the floor for, so the floor doesn't get a mess. So I've got all those to pot up there. I potted up uh, the giant onions. Uh, I'm going to leave those leeks in their pots. I think they, they're all right in there for, for a little while, and I've got like another 18 in there to pot up. So it's going to be a busy day. I'll show you these uh, how these onions are ticking on. They're, they're looking good now, they're looking... That one at the back's looking really good, thick, healthy stem on it. The fruits are looking good. Um, the fruits look shiny, but they're not. Um, I've got a spray on them, which is stopping thrip and stuff like that. Let me have a look at the, the heavyweight leeks. I'm not sure what to do with these heavyweight leeks, if I'm being honest. I'm kind of... I'm thinking about... Um, Sorry about that. I'm thinking about taking them out of those pots when the weather gets a lot better and planting them in the ground and absolutely nuking them for to see if we can get some really big heavyweight leaks so I can enter them into a show. But we'll see. They might go to seed yet because I pushed them quite hard. Um, I've got all my my red cabbages and uh, brigadier cabbages I planted last week, last two Wednesday I think. They're all through now. I'm still waiting for the, the banger carrots, giant carrots to pop through. But uh, yeah, everything's go. I fixed my greenhouse so I can get all these back to the greenhouse and uh, get them in the, the nice warm greenhouse with plenty of sunshine instead of having them in this tent on eight hours a day under the lights. But yeah, everything's going. I'm getting excited now for the season to start. I've got all the allotments sorted out if you watch my other video. So thanks for watching. Remember to subscribe for future updates uh, for more videos coming up and I'm going to do a competition with some giant pumpkin seeds I'm going to give away soon as well um, if there's anything you like just put a comment in the box above or below or wherever it is and I'll answer all your questions I'll get back to you as soon as possible if there's anything you want to ask us thanks for watching I'll see you again on the next one